The Bible never said to follow signs. He said to follow, the signs shall follow you. And some people through, back through the years ran off. They'd, go to, they'd just run after a person that had signs following their meetings. Just run after them. He didn't say run after the signs. He said the signs will follow you that believe. Yes. <laughs> Amen. All right. The Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now, the, the second Timothy, and let me read this right real quick and we're going to quit. Chapter 4. He said, I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is number uh, 2 Timothy 4, 1. I charge thee before God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and, and kingdom. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering. And doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Now, I'm going to tell you in the coming weeks and the coming months and the coming years. God willing, if Jesus tarries, we're going to be here preaching the word. We're going to preach the Word of God. Amen, amen, amen. And we're not interested in, in, in the other stuff. We're going to preach the Word with God's help. We'll bless you. We'll help you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your Word today. We receive it. We receive it. I receive it on behalf of these people. In Jesus' name. Thank you for opening up eyes, ears to see your will being done in their lives, Father. And as Paul prayed there in Ephesians, thank you for the spirit of wisdom and the revelation in the knowledge of you. Our eyes being opened that we can see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So we receive your word. And I pray, I ask you to begin to read God's word and study it. Begin to tune into these broadcasts. Go to church somewhere where they're preaching, teaching the good word of God. Amen. Now, if you don't know Jesus today and he's dealing with your heart, it's as simple as, as say, Lord, I believe. I believe that God raised you from the dead. I believe on you, Jesus. Come into my life and save me. He will. He's right there. He's waiting on you. So ask him today. Say, Lord, come into my life and save me. He will. He's just waiting on you. Don't matter what you've done or where you've been. It's where you're going from where you're at now. All right, this has been God's Word for today. I'm Kenneth Gross along with my wife, Brenda. We say God bless you till next time.